Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's take a look at what messages your person would like to say to you currently. Let's see. Spirit Angels and guys, what messages does this person want to currently say to Leo? Whoever it is that Leo is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What messages does this person want to say to Leo currently? All right, let's see. It says, you're so smart. You're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. Okay, it's a little compliment there. What does this person want to say to Leo? Some of you are connecting to someone new, and if that's the case, then... Um, this person is attracted to your intelligence and your intellect. I want to say your confidence also. What does this person want to say to Leo? Whoever Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love, let me go. You deserve all the good, all the good things in this world. And right now I am not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. Let me go. Someone feels like they can't give you the relationship that you want. Feels like a past person. A past person feels like they can't give you the, the love and the attention and relationship that you deserve. Let's get one more for Leo, please. What messages does this person want to say to Leo? It says emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. Emotional in intimacy. So this person is emotionally unavailable. They're afraid to tell you how they feel. Okay. They're afraid to open up. All right. What's here? Let the past go. We have to go card, like let me go and then let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. Let the past go. This is kind of a contradiction. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. Okay. It feels like someone wants to be with you, but they're just kind of struggling to let go of their past. Okay. And they're still emotionally unavailable. All right, let's use the... Actually, let me use these Oracle cards as well. Spirit, what's the situation currently between Leo and their person, please? What are the current energies between Leo and their person? Whoever it is that Leo is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, it says addictions. When I'm stressed about you, I drink or smoke addictions. Okay. It's like the devil energy. Someone is struggling with their addictions. Doesn't have to be like drugs or alcohol. It could just be just, you know, insecurities, bad habits that they have. 
This one says, online dating, good ones and bad ones, feel them out, use discernment. Some of you are currently online dating. Some of you might be trying to like connect to someone new or find someone new. Tell me more, Spirit, what's going on between Leo and their person? What's the current situation and the current energies? Gift. Let's like the Page of Pentacles. Surprise, something you've been wanting and waiting for. Gift. To me, this is the Page of Pentacles. So someone might be coming towards you literally with a gift or some sort of, you know, gesture. That could be an apology as well. At the bottom of the deck, it says, worth the wait. Divine timing manifesting true love is coming sooner than you think. Worth the wait. Interesting. So you're kind of in this process of letting something go from your past and opening yourself up to something new, to someone new. Worth the wait. Okay. All right, let's go to the tarot cards. I feel like these were a lot of mixed messages. But, but let's see. Let's see what your person's current feelings are for you, spirit angels and guys. What are this person's current feelings for Leo? Whoever Leo is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What are this person's current feelings for Leo? What does this person currently feel about Leo? <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. All right, what do we have here? Five of Pentacles with the Strength card, Justice in Reverse, Devil in Reverse. Tell me more, what are this person's current feelings for Leo? Okay, thank you, Spirit. What's at the bottom? King of Cups is at the bottom. Queen of Pentacles is here. And Eight of Swords is here. Um, King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So in regards to this person's current feelings for you, Leo... They want to make a move towards you. They want to make a move towards you. They want to take action towards you, but they're choosing to stay put. Yeah. Okay, so they feel like they're doing you a favor, basically, is, is what they're trying to say here. Yeah. They feel like they're doing you a favor by um, not talking to you, keeping their distance, staying away from you, even though they do really want to reach out to you like this is someone who is deep who's deep in their feelings for you king of cups six of pentacles and the queen of cups here it is i don't know why you're not gonna like this leo i can already feel it look at that king of cups queen of cups six of pentacles this is someone who misses you this is someone who feels like they love you they feel like there's a soulmate connection between you two, they want a relationship with you with the Six of Pentacles. Um, they feel like there's a lot of distance between you two. They feel like you're very far away from them. They want to close the gap. They want to, you know, create a bridge. And, you know, walk over to you. And reconnect with you. But they feel like you're really hurt with them. That's the way they're looking at you. It's like this person feels like you're very disappointed with them. You're very heartbroken because of them. And they feel like they're going to make it worse or like they would make it worse if they were to reach out to you the way they want to. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this energy here. Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands. 
they're really scared with the Nine of Wands. They're really frightened and scared and insecure here. Um, Ten of Swords, this is someone who is feeling a lot of pain over this separation. And like I said, they, they, they want to take action with the Ace of Wands. But they feel like it might be too late. They feel like there there might be there might have been too much damage already been done with the Ten of Swords, and they feel like you probably wouldn't accept them. You probably don't want to hear from them. So they're kind of torn with the Eight of Swords here. They're a little bit torn because their heart is really missing you and wanting you. Um, there's a deep spiritual connection here with the lover's card. But at the same time, this person feels like they would probably humiliate themselves or they're going to end up humiliating themselves because you're probably not going to take them back. <clears throat> okay. They're looking at you as the strength upright. So this person is looking at you as the one who has the advantage, the one who has the upper hand. They're looking at you as the one who was wronged also, because it's you're next to the justice card in reverse. So this person is looking at you like you were the one who were wronged. They're looking at you like you, you were like you're the victim here, like basically you're the one who was um, deceived or betrayed. So they are acknowledging that they betrayed you. They are acknowledging that they um, hurt you, that they messed things up with you. Hmm. They're also looking at you like you were really good to them. With this Queen of Pentacles strength card also, this is kind of like an energy of someone who, who was really good with someone. They're looking at you like you really um you were really good you were really good to them. You really cared about them. You nurtured them, you nurtured the relationship, you were generous, you were patient. Hmm. You're someone who has a big heart, a very loving heart, and you offered that to them. They're also looking at you like someone who was very loyal to them and someone who um, trusted them. Someone who trusted them. And I feel like they are recognizing here that they betrayed your trust. And they put you in a toxic situation here with the devil in reverse. In a toxic um, relationship, connection. <clears throat> so this person is taking a lot of um, accountability and responsibility. They might not be telling you that though. They might not be communicating that or showing you that. But I do see here um, behind the curtains this is someone who is reflecting over everything that they did wrong. And they are kind of taking um, accountability and responsibility. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. All right, I don't know if I want to clarify this energy. It feels pretty straightforward. I kind of want to look at you real quick. And then we'll come back to this person. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> it feels pretty straightforward, so. Let me just quickly look at you. All right. Spirit, um, how does Leo currently feel about this person? What are Leo's current feelings, please? Here we go. 
What are Leo's current feelings for this person? Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, Eight of Cups. You're walking away. Tower. Jeez. Lord, what happened here? Look at that. Eight of Cups and the Tower. You're walking away. This was a disaster with a Tower card. <clears throat> what are um, Leo's current feelings? Tell me more, Spirit. Thank you. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Lovers. Yikes. Seven of Wands. So you're pissed off. Look at that. This is the card of Leo as well. Seven of Wands. Pissed off. Angry. Frustrated. Get away from me. King of Wands is in reverse. This is your energy in reverse, which means that you're frustrated and upset, angry. <clears throat> Hmm. Look at that. You don't even want an apology. Look at that. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You're not even interested in apology. This came up over here. It came up in this area of the Oracle cards. Gift. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so this is something that already happened then. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person already came towards you with some sort of apologetic message. And it looks like you turned it down. You, you're not interested. You're showing up here as the empress here. So you feel like this person didn't value you. You're letting this go. You're dropping this. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Lovers in reverse. So this person killed the love that you had for them. Oh, that's sad. This person killed the love that you had for them. Okay. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse because you're still carrying resentment. You're like, you're carrying that pain and that hurt, anger. Yeah, because you're not coming out of this hole. You're coming out of this in pieces. <coughs> That's why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. You're not your whole self. You're coming out of this broken and still feeling um, like a lack of closure, a lack of resolution. And it's just, it's affecting you, basically. King of Wands in reverse. It's just, I mean, you are showing up as the Empress here. So you are in this energy of, I'm going to get over this. I'm going to get over this. I'm going to push on. I'm going to push forward. It might be difficult. It's, it might, you know, hurt for a little while, but I'm going to overcome this. I'm going to, I'm going to defeat this energy. Also with the seven of wands, I'm going to defeat this energy. I'm going to defeat this person, this situation, this relationship. I'm going to come out of this. Um, stronger than before. Oh, Lord, what's this energy? Four of cups, two of swords, nine of cups in reverse. Okay. Emperor, eight of pentacles, queen of swords. Yeah, you, you need a lot of healing. You definitely need a lot of healing. You have a good mindset, though. Your mindset is pretty good, Leo, but I do feel like um, you definitely need um, 
to kind of sit with yourself and, you know, embrace how you feel. Because we do have um, two of cups here. I mean, sorry, two of swords, you see, and the nine of cups in reverse. So this is kind of you trying to block out your feelings, block out your emotions. So at some point, that's something that you have to like work with. And, you know, come come face to face with your feelings and embrace them and feel them and just, you know, go through them. You know, cry if you need to cry then. Sometimes that's therapeutic. Yeah. That that can be very ther therapeutic. So, you know, you don't want to build up resentment because then you're going to take it out on the next person, you know. It's always good to like acknowledge where you went wrong also and just kind of you know um don't put all the blame on this person, you know, try to also try to also acknowledge where where you made mistakes, you know, and that that can help. That can help create balance in inside of you. Yeah, be honest where where you made mistakes. Be honest accepting where you made mistakes and you know, try to figure out, you know, how you can how you can avoid that next time and how you can be better in a healthy way. Not in, in the way of, oh my, like, I'm never going to trust anyone ever again. Like, that's not healthy, you know. That's not going to help you. What, it's like, what in you attracted this person, you know. If this person was someone toxic, what in you attracted them to you, you know. It means there's something in you that you need to work on. And what caused you to feel attracted to them? If you know what I mean. Okay. Let me take a look at this King of Wands in reverse. Because yeah, you seem really pissed off. Why is the King of, Wands, King of Wands in reverse in Leo's energy? Clarify the King of Wands in reverse in Leo's energy. I mean, in Leo's feelings for this person. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, look at that. No wonder you're upset. Look at that. Ten of Cups. King of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Cups. So, so you built up your expectations too high, basically. Um, I guess it's the moral of the story here for some of you you had really really high expectations high hopes high dreams um to have a happily ever after with this person and build a life with them and you were really emotionally emotionally invested in this relationship and you brought your best self because they're telling me you did they're telling me over here you did you brought your best self you gave your sorry you gave your best and it wasn't reciprocated so you do feel kind of um deceived here or betrayed so that might be something to work on too like your expectations maybe you were too quick cuz you're showing up as the king of wands in reverse which can be impatient and impulsive a little bit quick not every not everyone is like you um so that that might be something also to think about. Don't assume everyone is like you. You might be someone who's very sure about yourself, you know. You're very sure about what you want. About, you know, what you desire, about um, what you deserve. And you go after it, you know with confidence. But not everyone is like that. Not everyone knows what they want with, with such, you know, confidence as you. So 
that might be something you need to think about also. Like, don't expect people to be like you. And don't make, don't go too fast when it comes to like creating expectations here. Don't have any expectations. Let people show themselves to you first. Hmm. Yeah, because you might have rushed things. For some of you, you kind of rush things or you, you try to push some sort of goal here. And it does look like it backfired because it does look like something backfired for you. It looks like you try to do something and it backfired, you know? All right. Anyway, you're hurt. You don't want, you don't want to repeat anything with this person. You're trying to get away, move on. Let me go back to this person here. Actually, let me see how you're viewing them real quick. And then I'll go back to this person. Spirit angels and guys, how is Leo currently viewing this person? What is Leo's current view and perception of this person that they're dealing with? Two of Pentacles in reverse, a two-timer, some of you are viewing this person as a two-timer. How is Leo viewing this person? Judgment, Eight of Swords, and World in reverse. Two-timer, someone who plays head games. So you know this person wants a second chance with you, apparently, is what it says here. Okay. This person might have been juggling you with someone else. But you know that this person got tired and bored of, of that other person, whoever the third party was. And you know that they're coming towards you wanting a second chance. Or you know they're going to come towards you wanting a second chance with you. You know this person... Um, You know this person is stuck on you and that they're not going to replace you with anybody else and that they still want a second chance with you. And how does, um, um, what is Leo's response to this energy spirit? What is Leo's response to this energy? Ooh, the devil. Yeah, you feel like this person is toxic. You feel like this relationship is toxic. It's, it's unhealthy for you. Your response is that you don't want any part of it. Just your response. Anything else in regards to Leo's response? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. It's not, it's not something you want to pursue. It's not something you want to give a chance. Give a chance to. You feel like this person is... Um, just deceiving you. Almost like they're acting sad or like they're acting... Yeah, like they're, um, they're playing the victim in some way. They're trying to get sympathy. Or like they're trying to um, make you feel bad about them about them being um, alone and sad. So emotional manipulation, basically. You see this person as emotionally manipulative. Okay. Let's go back to this person and see um, what is it that their current, in what are their current intentions with you? Because I do see them trying to stay away from you, even though they really want to reach out, but they're scared of your rejection. 
They also, they're scared to piss you off even more. They're scared of your wrath. W-R-A-T-H. They're scared of your wrath. Let's see their true intentions. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current true intentions with Leo? Their true intentions and desires with Leo? Oh my God. Okay, these cards flipped over. Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands. That's their intentions. Oh, Lord, this is, you're not going to like, I told you you're not going to like this, Leo. Yeah, this is like a love bomb energy. Their intention is to come towards you with a love bomb. To love bomb you. Their intentions and desires to return back to you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um... They're not ready to move on. They don't want to move on. Well, this is what they want to do. Let's see what, what actions they will actually take. This is their intentions and desires, but let's see what they're actually going to do. Yeah, they want to sweep you off your feet. They want to charm you. They want to love bomb you. They want to make you fall in love with them again. Yeah, you know, all of that. Very romantic, sweet, you know, loving type of energy here that they're wanting to bring towards you. Let's see what, what they actually do. What actions will this person actually take towards Leo spirit moving forward? What will this person's actions be towards Leo? Their next actions moving forward. Ace of Wands in reverse, okay. They're not taking action. Yeah, look at that. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. They're too scared. It's like they're they're um they're chicken, you know. They're too chicken. Seven of Swords. This person is still trying to hide things. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's why they're in this energy of being scared and being frightened and insecure. Because they're not coming towards you with the with the full truth, with full honesty. They're not planning on coming towards you with full truth and full honesty. They're coming towards you to, to kind of butter you up, you know? Their plan is to kind of try to butter you up. Kind of distract you from the underlying issues, issue or issues. By acting very romantic and loving and, you know, or I'm sorry, Leo, and, you know, being very emotional here with you, hoping that that will help distract you from thinking about whatever it is that they did or what, uh, whatever it is that, not just that they did, but that they, they've done recently. Because honestly, I feel like this person did something recently you know, apart from what you've already discovered from, from this person. What you already know is deceptive from this person or is a lie from this person. I feel like there's more. There's more to it. And this person doesn't want you to find out. They want to keep you in the dark about something recent, you know? but they're not taking action yet. I feel like this person plans on taking action. They just don't want to take action yet right now. They're waiting a little bit longer because they are scared of, of getting caught. 
or they're scared that you'll figure them out. Because they are carrying a guilty conscience of something that they did, that they shouldn't have done, and it, it's something that you still don't know about. So yeah, this is someone who plans on returning back and to love bomb you, but um, yeah, feels like it's a little bit further up ahead. Let's take a look at that. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Leo um, further up ahead into the future? <clears throat> what actions will this person take towards Leo further up ahead into the future? <clears throat> Woo, I told you, Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to pursue you a little bit further up ahead to try to win you back. What are their intentions with Leo when they take action towards Leo further up ahead? What are their intentions with Leo? What, what will their intentions be with Leo? Yeah, death in reverse. To get you back, you know, to avoid a permanent ending here with you. To win you back. Let's see what the advice is. <clears throat> All right, spirit angels and guides. Um, let's do, hold on. Let's do upright cards here. Spirit angels and guides, what's the advice for Leo in regards to what they should do with this person and this relationship or connection? What should Leo do? What's the advice for Leo? What should Leo do with this person? That one. Ooh, that one. Okay. Um, ooh, the strength card. That's your card, Leo. So keep strong in your integrity. Stay strong in your integrity. Oh. Don't let yourself be influenced by this person. Don't let yourself be changed. Oh, look, the moon is here. Oh, don't let this person trigger you. Yeah, the moon is all about triggers. <clears throat> mm. Don't let this person get you out of character. Don't let this person... Um, you know, trigger you, emotionally trigger you, emotionally, manip emotionally manipulate you, sorry. Yeah, don't let this person confuse you also. This is like an energy of confusion. Listen to your intuition, trust in yourself. Trust in yourself. Trust in what you already know. Be aware of this person trying to kind of, you know, confuse you. Don't second guess yourself. All right, Leo, that's the advice. I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.